today is post op day two a very cute fashion overdress like i was crying earlier i feel like i want to cry now we monetize we get in i keep seeing this everywhere and I look, look she's about to get in the car by herself sis you doing a good job sis you doing a good job um, she said my incisions are starting to close, so I'm going to drain through my urine. Look at that. I don't know what the hell going on in Jacksonville. Do mine like how you do yours from here. Okay. I took everything with me. So basically, somebody was trying to scam me. Green has finally stopped. Get into the curls for you girls. We did that. That we did. Welcome to a new vlog. So I'm still in Atlanta. Today is post op day two for Maria. So when I get back to the house, we'll be catching up with her about her BBL journey. But this morning I woke up, decided to get a little cute, you know, like I always am. <laughs> I decided to get a little cute and I was going to go to brunch at this place called the Breakfast Club of Atlanta. Let me put a clip in of me driving by this place. Cause sis, do y'all see that line? People is everywhere. So what I'm about to do is just order online, get our food, and then go back to the house and regroup. Because I'm not sitting in that type of line. Mm -mm. I wish I had noticed that they did online orders before I left the house. Because I could have been ordered. But she want to get the salmon croquette crochet croquette salmon croquette i believe it is and then i'm gonna get the peach cobbler french toast so i'm about to put that order in so it's about 45 minutes later let me show y'all what i got on a very cute fashion overdress the split a little high but it's still cute giving brunch rides then i got on some slides and my purse i'm kind of hurt because i noticed like you see the, the the side of my purse how it's black how can i what what cleaner could i use to get this off i don't know but i ordered the food online and i'm walking i parked found me a little parking that don't charge they around here charging 20 dollars for parking and i ain't got it for you i'm sorry sir so i'm walking up to breakfast club right now to get the food and then back in the car we go I'm excited to see what inside looks like and how the food tastes. Hey y'all, so it's a lot, lot, lot later on in the day. When y'all last seen me, it was like 10, 11 o'clock. It is 7, 7.01 right now. My video just premiered, oh, it's 8.01 actually. My video just premiered and I'm just re-watching it. Um, let me park to give y'all an update. So Maria's still at the house. I'll let her give y'all her update once we um get back there. It's post-op day two, and she's pretty mobile on her own. I haven't really had to help her with anything except the fact that we're in an Airbnb with steps. So anything she needs from downstairs, downstairs, I'll go get it. But she's going to the bathroom on her own at this point. She's taking her own medicine. I'm just really there for food um guidance and support and then to make sure she stay hydrated so she's pretty much taking care of herself she's off of all of her pain meds uh she's just taking her antibiotics still and tomorrow she gets her first lymphatic massage but earlier after i left barney's i went to piedmont park and i was gonna get out and walk around well i look greasy since i just been laying down um i was gonna get out and walk around but when I pulled up to Piedmont Park, I started feeling real sad. Like, 
I guess you would call it homesick because I've been gone for a minute. And even before then, I was in Mexico for a minute. So I feel like I haven't been home. I miss my kids. I miss my doll. Like, I'm ready to go home. I want to go home now. So hopefully tomorrow after her first massage, we can get on the road and head back to Jacksonville because I feel real down. Like, I was crying earlier. I feel like I want to cry now. I want to go home. Yeah, I just really want to be home. I don't know, child. Whew, but yeah, enough of that. So now it's 8 o'clock. Last time she ate was Barney's. When I got there, my food was messed up and I didn't want to wait for them to remake it. So they just gave me my money back. She said her food was good. I'm talking about Barney's. I meant um, at the breakfast club. She said her food was good. But now she's hungry. Dang, we stay right up across the street from... K-pot hot, K-pot Korean barbecue and hot pot. I feel like I want to go there, but I don't want to go by myself. But she's hungry, and I don't know what I want to eat. She don't know what she want to eat. We can't find nothing on Google or TikTok. So I'm like, I'm just going to get in the car and drive until I drive by something that we want. And I really want it to be like fast food, something quick that we can pick up. Like, I'm not trying to be nowhere for a long time. And I just want to go back and get back into bed. And then go to sleep and teleport until tomorrow. That's what I, when I'm ready for something to happen the next day, I be trying to go to bed early. Because in my mind, I teleport to the next day. <laughs> so, that's what I'm uh, thinking. I kind of want to run in Kroger's as well. Because I've never been in a Kroger's and it's behind me just to see what it looked like. But let's figure out what we doing about food. Oh, and this vlog that went up today did is doing so good. Like, that's number one out of my last ten vlogs. That That's what I'd be liking to see. But I really think it's because of that thumbnail. That thumbnail is real clicky. The way she passed out and whatnot. But I'm just pretty much rambling right now. I don't got nothing to talk about. I really don't feel like talking. I feel real down. I don't know, child. It's just a lot. Good morning. Look at what I woke up to this morning. YouTube has officially completed all the reviews. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So I'm in a way better mood than yesterday because we're going home today. At least that's the plan. Hopefully it work out the way we think it's going to work out. Let me bring y'all up to speed. So we're originally supposed to leave tomorrow, which is Tuesday, but it's no point in us staying if today is her last post-op appointment. So as long as they clear her to go home, we going home. We getting on the road as soon as this appointment's over. The appointment was at 9.30, so she just went in. And this is post-op appointment number two. And today she gets her first massage. So I'm excited to hear how that goes for her. Because the massages, the lymphatic massage, massages after um, lipo and plastic surgery, be brutal. But after you get that massage, you feel so much better. So relieved. Like, the going through the process be painful but when you get out it be all worth it so y'all see what i showed y'all this morning you see what i showed you what happened hmm? what happened we monetize we getting paid ah, we getting pussy Hey, hey, yes, I'm so excited about this. The channel is officially monetized. We pass all the checks, all the reviews, and we run in a bag up now. So when y'all see them ads, please do not skip them. I know y'all gonna come through for your girl just like how y'all always do. Let them ads play. It's only gonna take a few minutes, few seconds. Of course, if it's like a 13-minute ad, skip that shit. <laughs> I be skipping them. But we are officially monetized. I'm so excited. While she's getting her massage, we're about to run to another home goods real quick. And then once we leave out that home goods, I'm gonna sit down and go through my YouTube studio 
and put ads in all my videos. Hopefully, everything is done processing because I just turned the monetization on. Hopefully, everything is done processing and YouTube can automatically add the ads because I like when they do it. They be finding the perfect places to do it. So, that's that. Mm -hmm. That's that. <laughs> Let's go shopping. So we made it to Home Goods. We're at the Home Goods in the perimeter area. That's what my GPS said. So let's see if we find anything good or if we find another one of them vases from last vlog. Because y'all said I need to get another big one. So I don't see any blue vases or ornaments really that I like. I do like this, but it's given gold. We would need silver. Um, I keep seeing this everywhere and I low-key feel like God keep putting it in my face because I need to get it for the living room. So we're going to see. We're going to see. They have a lot more floral options over here. It ain't, it ain't here, y'all. This is the other blue section. So we're Audi 5 Valley. Yeah. They have some interesting pieces, but nothing that screamed by me. That little um circle tray thing that you can put on the table. That was cute, but it wasn't cute for $60. Mm -mm. It wasn't. So I want to go to, I think it's at home back in Jacksonville and see if I find something similar. If I don't find nothing similar and I happen to see it again, then maybe I'll consider buying, buying it. But I don't got it in my heart right now to spend 60 on it. But now let's handle some business. I got all the ads added. I disputed a few copyright claims and then I also created a channel membership and it's three different levels. I'll talk, talk to y'all about that later. But Maria just got out her massage and she is a whole lot more mobile. Look, she about to get in the car by herself. Sis, you doing a good job. Sis, you doing a good job. <laughs> I was telling them you're getting in the car by yourself. You're a lot more mobile. Well, I ain't going to be the clothes to them. Oh, yeah. So I got to get out. My smart ass. <laughs> get in. <laughs> okay, so what's the tea? Tell us the tea. How did it go? What they did? went good um i got my massage it didn't hurt as bad as i thought it was oh that's real good um that means they was probably gentle because remember what i told you about the person i went to she's well she said if, if they're not gentle she said it's not supposed to hurt okay um so <laughs> that's good. so um so did you dream I did. That's good. Um, she said my scissors are starting to close, so I'm going to drain through my urine. Okay. So, as I get my massages, I should be drinking fluids and draining through my urine. Okay. Um, everything else looks good. Today's um, Monday surgery was Friday, Friday, so this is officially day uh, post op day three. three. How do you feel today compared to day one? Pain oh. a lot less. Like you feel a whole lot I better? I feel a whole lot better. Okay. Day one was like drained. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody going through a BBL surgery, do you feel like at this point post-op day three, you can spend the days like by yourself going forward? Or do you feel like you would need help around the house? Like I know you need help driving and stuff, but like around the house, do you think you can function on your own? Um, yeah, I can manage. Okay. Um, certain things you're not supposed to do anyway, so... Um, anything else you want to tell the vlog? No. <laughs> okay. Well, y'all, this. Oh, so we getting on the road yeah, now? We're getting on the road. Okay. We're going home. <laughs> we're going home back to the Ville. So, 
I'll see y'all when I get there. I got this five-hour drive ahead of me. We probably go and check in with y'all um, as we drive because she's going to have to stop, stop and walk. Did they give you the shot or no, anything? No, he said he don't offer the shot. I okay. can stop every hour and walk around for like seven minutes. Okay, sounds so. good. So we'll check in with y'all on those stops and then we'll also check in with y'all when we got some food. Because apparently... <laughs> Baby, we um putting on the directions to go home and y'all look at that. I don't know what the hell going on in Jacksonville, but it's a two weather warnings of severe thunderstorms, more severe thunderstorms. Okay, so we about to get into some rains, but we like, should we not be leaving? What's going on? When they got in the city, these niggas talking like hoes, they mad they not in my shoes. Yeah, like slipping, looking like a falling star. Every day, them hammer spang with me. Oh, I'm seeing it. So, we just stopped at Subway for Maria to use the bathroom, and I'm like, I ain't had me a sub in a minute. So, I help her get back in the car. Um, she did a little bit of walking around and I'm about to go order us a sub. I, it's a Kroger gas station right here and a Kroger right there. Still ain't made it in, but that gas station don't got no inside. I thought, like I got off on the exit for her to use the bathroom there, but ain't no bathroom. That's how we ended up at Subway. So let's go order. Good, how are you? I really like the fact the lids is down here. Usually the Subways in Jacksonville, it'd be up. American cheese. No extra meat, right down. No. Okay. Back Thank you. Peppers, onions, salt and pepper. What's um what you put on yours over here? Salt and pepper all day. Uh you can do either. Do mine like how you do yours from here. Okay. <laughs> Yes, thank you. And then cut it in half, please. What's that last sauce? What was that last one? Ooh. We got our subs. The lady in there was so nice. Looked like she brought her kid to work. I'm like, oh, she on the grind. Ain't making no excuses. Ain't no, I can't come to work. I don't got a babysitter. The baby coming too. I ain't mad at it. Maria got a sweet teriyaki and I got a BMT. Don't ask me what it means, but it looked like a lot of good shit. And I was asking the lady, do they still do the $5 foot loan? She sounds my baby, that been gone. <laughs> you must say eight here in a minute. Like, no. Mm -hmm. no <laughs> say that again. I said, I don't know if it's me or it's the subway, but it don't taste like this back at home. <laughs> they know how to make that shit in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me grab mine. I, I, um, let me see where can I rig this, get my phone. So y'all still can see me. That's, that's the view y'all about to get. But I let the lady pretty much pick my sandwich. I asked her what was her favorite one. And I went with that. So I ain't never had this before. Definitely busting. It don't taste like this back home. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're right. I don't even like the mustard they put on it back home in this mustard deal. <laughs> mm. Now we got to come back to this exact location when we want Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I am home. I'm bringing my baby out for a walk. I'm so excited. Look at her in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> you happy to see me, Schnook?
I am home. Last time y'all seen us, we were riding home. Since then, I dropped Maria off. Um, I was picked up. I came home. And I just really... I took a bath, washed my little little hair, a little head, I should say. And I have been in the bed. This morning, I woke up and my house was a complete disarray. So, we got to clean it. Let me show y'all where I put the stuff that we recently bought. As you know, I have all my electronics from my laptop, my camera. On my vacations, I do. So, I don't have to worry about keep going back and forth in my suitcase. I can just uh, pack it, put my bags in the closet, and there's that. Okay, tell me what y'all think. I feel like I have a lot of ish in my room. It's so pretty. And I'm trying to decide, should I put something over the bed? Right now, I'm feeling like no. Do y'all think something should go over the bed? Or not. Nah. didn't go where I anticipated them to go basically so y'all remember we bought this I ended up just putting it on the nightstand this little ornament and then on the other nightstand I went ahead and put the other ornament hopefully the lighting adjusts and y'all can get a gist if not let me know if y'all want a, an official room tour. I can tell y'all where everything came from because I feel like my bedroom is fire. The mirrors are all put up. So the wall is done. I think I did a good job. Everything was under $150 and people would have charged you like a thousand plus to do that. I want to get a new trash can, but this is black. So I'm kind of like maybe it's not a big deal. This is the TV stand right here that I was buying stuff to put on these shelves. But as I started putting stuff on the shelves, I'm like, I kind of just like them empty. If anything, nothing. <laughs> like, I just like them plain, simple, and empty. So these are the two vases. I figured I'm going to keep this, these two. Um, I'm not going to get two big ones. And I may, I like the idea. Y'all gave me a bunch of different ideas like potpourri, um, marbles. The one that I liked the most though was the fake olive branches. So I'm going to put that in there to bring greenery into the room because I plan on getting a big plant to go right here. But that'll be like over $100 and it'll make no sense. So I'm going to get the fake olives to put in this one. And then I got this book from Amazon. It's a Princess Diana Vogue book. She's my favorite princess, but I still don't want to see her face in my room. <laughs> so I got this gray book that one of my old jobs sent me. It's just like a book with notebook paper in it. And it has different things about the company. So I put the crystal over the company name. So all you can see is the word one. But I, I like how this whole little concoction looks. Darren, can any of these shoes in the laundry room still? I need the broom and dustpan, please. You heard me?
Hey y'all, so I'm just leaving class. Class was real chill, very informative. Um, we had basically like a brain throw up session, if that makes sense. I took everything with me. So basically my professor printed out a skeleton and we had to label everything. And I was to prepare us for the test next week. Initially it was no notes, no nothing. And then a little bit after he let us pull out our notes. So things got real detail. <sighs> I gotta tell y'all what happened to me this morning. Let me get to the car and I'm gonna tell y'all. <sighs> so class was good out as I was saying. The assignment that we did, it ended up being extra credit. So basically I just got six points extra credit just for showing up to class. And I'm so thankful because I had the right mind to stay my behind home and just do some extra studying. But I bit the bullet and I got up and I came to class. So class was good. But before I came to class, let me tell y'all what happened to me. Somebody was trying to scam me. Boy, scam me, commit fraud. I don't know how what's the proper words for it. But yesterday I went to the grocery store and my card got declined and it's a business credit card that I don't ever really use. I used it to make to like basically keep it open. So I'm trying to get a couple of groceries and the card get declined. I had my cash app, so I was good. I paid for my groceries. But I'm like, what the hell going on? Like it's money on like credit available on the card. Why is it getting declined? But because it was that late, I wasn't able to call the bank get up this morning and call the bank and they're like there's a fraud alert on your credit card because somebody was trying to use two thousand dollars for ggb resort and book a vacation i'm like hold on now sis like y'all booking a vacation on my card and y'all ain't even invite me <laughs> so they closed the card opened a fraud investigation and they said because it was a a big amount and like I don't spend that kind of money on the card it was automatically flagged so the transaction was declined luckily so it doesn't really impact me but good grief people up early scamming I guess up late scamming so that's how my morning started um right now I really don't have nothing planned I'm about to head home and see if I need to record anything like any type of content I gotta look at my schedule and then probably get some studying done make some notes and that's pretty much it we'll take the day from there as the day comes i don't really have much plan but last night i did make oh i didn't let me tell y'all why i didn't really vlog yesterday which y'all may already know yesterday i sat on live for a total of about six hours so that's the reason y'all didn't get see much of vlog content for yesterday on this vlog if you want to see what I did yesterday you can go look at the live streams that's dated for yesterday's date um, I took y'all with me to happy hour we did a team move try on haul and then you know we be with the shits did a lot of shit talking laughing and all that good stuff hanging out so go check out the live streams and on the live streams I made y'all aware that my channel is now officially monetized and we are offering a membership the membership is $4.99 a month and with the membership you get access to exclusive live streams with me, early access to um, the videos, and then also there's a few other features I have to go see but it's $4.99 a month and what I plan to do is do two, one to two dedicated live streams a week for the community only so it's going to be like... Um, Cook, cook with me like what we did last night when we made the salmon lasagna girl talk informative information like credit stuff that y'all been asking for so go ahead and check the description box the link is down there and you can go ahead and purchase your membership it's only $4.99 I didn't want to knock y'all head off you know they you can charge up to $499 for the membership $500 I'm like uh-uh so it's only five dollars go ahead and um purchase yours because you do also get a badge with it that's why a lot of people wanted it specifically for the badge so you'll be oh one of the additional features is member only chats so like how i premiere my videos, some of the videos are only going to be available for members to chat only so you would have to purchase a badge or a um, membership in order to get in and then like I said you get your badge and the longer you keep your membership your badge colors continue to change to basically show your seniority 
So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it's a way for y'all to support the channel because a lot of y'all be asking what can y'all do. Y'all be sharing the content. That's a new form of supporting the channel. The next thing is don't skip the ads or watch the ads in between my videos as long as possible because that's how YouTube pay, cre pay creators. We get paid a percentage of the ad revenue. So the longer you watch the ads, the more we get paid. So that was just a, a brief little informational session. But I'm about to head home and I'll see y'all once I get to the house. Hey y'all, so it's a few hours later. Um, I went home, looked at a few videos, like, I ain't really been doing much of nothing, but before I decided I was going to go permanent, well, when I decided I was going to go permanent with locks, I gave away a lot of my flat irons and hot tools to my sister, and she's telling me my other sister got it, my other sister telling me she got it, so it's a lot of back and forth. Um, my sister Carla did send me some curling irons, so I'm about to meet one of her clients to get it because I stayed too far from her hair salon and her client was on the way over here, so she just sent it with her. So we're about to meet her and get that. And then we're going to run into Ross and see if we can find um, some new flat irons. Because I ain't trying to spend over $30 and Ross be having the hot tools for the low. That's a little hack or secret if y'all didn't know. If y'all need any type of hot tools, check Ross first. She says she's here. She says she is in a silver Genesis. Oh, I love me a Genesis. Where at? Okay, right here. That bitch is so sexy. I want to see inside her car. Girl, I want to see inside your car. I've been seeing Genesis all on the road, and I love them. Her car is so freaking nice. I love them Genesis. Oh. So, my sister sent me this flat iron. Hot shot tools and it goes up to 450 degrees and then she sent me one of her wax sticks y'all check out her website um the hair guru .net. she got a variety of different hair products so we got that let's go over to Ross it's a Burlington right by where I'm at but I know Ross gonna gonna get me right that's where I need to be going Y'all look at outside. It is pouring down. This gave me a sudden mood change. So we were supposed to go in Ross. And as you can see, ain't nobody going out in this kind of weather. Uh-uh. So I'm home. I have since made it home. And I was going to do a wig install. Because I want to put this wig on. I showed it. Look at the brush y'all caught it on. I showed it to y'all on the live yesterday. And I wanted to install it. I got my shampoo, conditioner, everything ready to do the wig install. But... This weather done, you know, changed my whole mood, my whole little vibe. So I made me a little warm up leftover plate from last night. We made pasta Alfredo on live. So I'm eating some of that. I ain't eat last night because I cooked so late. So this is my first time eating it. And when I tell you it's busting, it's busting, busting. Go back and watch that live if you want to see how I made it. But I'm about to go start editing this vlog. And when I'm done... We're going to do the wig and saw, and then we're going to wrap this vlog up because we need a vlog to go up tomorrow. So I need to get some editing done. The rain has finally stopped. So let's get busy. So this wig is a wig that I've had for like over four years from Asteria. And when I tell you, it's been worn a bunch of, a bunch of times by me and my nieces. <laughs> and I feel like it's able to be revived with this 800% human hair. Oh, we know that because we don't put crimps in it at all. So we about to wash this. It's a six by six closure. 
all the details i leave down in the description box i'll go get it from the video when they sent it to me years ago hopefully everything's the same but y'all check out asteria wigs they make some good ass wigs enough of that let's wash it i'm gonna show y'all the products that i use and hopefully your girl wig game wig install game is still strong because i used to be slaying wigs but i ain't really did that in a while as far as products we're about to use these it's the meal sea moss blend their anti-shedding shampoo as you can see i only got a corner left and then their conditioner for the lace area to get everything off because it's a little bit of old makeup on there and a little bit of glue i'm going to use dawn and then also an old toothbrush and then we have this to detangle and most importantly i'm washing the hair in the kitchen sink we need something to catch the hair because we don't want hair going down the drain that could be a disaster And look how pretty these curls is, or waves, I should say. Get into the curls for you girls, the waves. So freaking pretty. I don't know why God can't bless me with a good grade of hair like this. Look, just a little water, and it don't revive the wig. Just a little shampoo, conditioner, and water. This ain't no product on here. So let's tend to our lace. Okay, so to me, there's some extra lace on here. So we about to push it back just a little bit. Need some dull ass scissors. I hate that for me. extra lace okay I look a lot better so now we're gonna let the lace dry that's the part I'm most concerned about because the hair even if it dries I'm gonna rewet it anyway and put the mousse on there and style it but this is the main area and me personally I don't like to use the blow dryer on this part I feel like it dries your hair out so let that baby dry for a little bit and we'll stick a pin and come right back okay i think we're ready to install this wig so they say you gotta clean your forehead with alcohol I want to do a, a deep side part with this wig, so I don't know which side we're going to land on, but I'm not a huge fan of the buzz down middle part. Okay. Even before we do anything, the lace is really my color. I'm still... I'm gonna add something to it though. So 
gonna take my foundation brush and just use the residue that's on there and wipe across the lace. So. And it's crazy to me that they be like, wipe your forehead with alcohol to make sure you don't got no oils or greases or anything. But then it's very common to see people put foundation on there and foundation has oil. I don't know. I guess I'm, I might be thinking a little too deep into it. I think I'm feeling this side for a side part. Mm-hmm. Can y'all see the lace? Huh? Because I can't. <laughs> okay, so I know what side we're putting that on. So for glue, I'm going to use this spray, the even spray, because I don't really plan on keeping it on for too, too long. nice and taggy I want to lay the bottom part first but that I'm sure that's backwards trip on it when I go you can go slow find it up this crop look good just like this like I really don't need no baby ears what like this could have came for a little more yeah ain't no biggie Okay, time for the big reveal. Ooh, we did that. We did that. That we did. You know how they be like, we had a time last night. We did that. It's been done. Okay, yes. What y'all think? Ooh. So at this point, I definitely could have went and put the concealer and stuff in on my part but i don't like my part to be that bright but i think i did an awesome job on this install this hair is so pretty to be so oh <laughs> it's a 22 inch wig i did see that and the it's a look drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think am i ready for some hair reviews now did i slay this install because to me it's giving 
it's definitely giving now like this is what i used to hate i done did this install with the spray glue so it's only gonna last like a day or two now it, it done came out so good i wish i had used my sister's glue the guru grip because her ish lasts for like two weeks and i don't want to take this wig off now i don't so we've got to the end of the vlog y'all I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all on Sunday. And y'all know what about y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world. But y'all are here with me. Mm hmm Anywhere doing anything, watching anybody, but y'all here with me. And for that, I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on a live or I'll see you on the next vlog. But somebody gotta take me out now. I need to be seen. Somebody gotta see me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look, I ain't even putting up none of this ish. Going straight out the door.